All right, hi guys. I was just thinking about how I want to do this. Um, I did get an order in yesterday from Craft Stash, which is really cool because it was from that Saturday sale they had. Not, you know, like two, three days ago, four days ago, Saturday, but the Saturday before that. And it came in yesterday. So from ordering on Saturday, from them shipping it out like on Monday because they're closed over the weekend, I got it on Tuesday here in the U.S. and they're based in the U.K. so that's really great. It's kind of same thing with the, my last order too. It came in within like six or seven days so that's pretty great. Um, I always like to share that kind of info and then I have some things from HSN too. I think I'm still waiting for a couple things from Craft Day. They were supposed to come in today but these things came in yesterday. If I have any links in the description box they will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. And mentioning that I do want to uh, mention again that Spellbinders is having a sale. If you put $100 worth of you know whatever is it you like on Spellbinders in your cart they will take off $25. Um, I'll have the information there in the description box so that's uh, basically 25% off even the clearance stuff or sale stuff. Oh which reminds me I wanted to show you this again. I showed you this uh, before but I don't know if you know uh, well anyway I just wanted to bring it up because I've been using it more and more. Um, this is the um, portfolio I think it's just like 12 or 13 bucks right now and again you still get that percentage off and I've been using it to like make up cards to write little notes and all kinds of things like that and um, it's been really great so I just wanted to mention that oh and this pen too I don't even use this pen all the time but um, whenever I go to write with it I don't know it's pretty much ready to go which is really great for a fountain pen a lot of times they start drying out and I like I said I don't use it like super often it's just really pretty it's the Jane Davenport pen and I heard really good things about the turquoise one which has colors so this one only has black ink but let's um, get right into it and we'll uh, go from there and then today's busted out Wednesday will be a gorgeous girl design so uh, keep an eye out for that and then I'll do the um, stamp what's that stuff called that impress art next week okay because I know a lot of you guys when I showed it to you on HSN the last haul were interested because I have tons of it and I just never used it so those little metal blanks that you pound you know name on it or whatever it is and then I bought more of them because uh, you know it wasn't enough that I have it sitting there for four or five years that I've never used the initial stuff so I will definitely bust it out Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for that later. Um, okay, so this is the other HSN items that I just got. <clears throat> this is the Anna Griffin mini holiday frames. And I am always a sucker for these mini frames. And then I'm like, oh, these are sized for a 5x7 card. But <laughs> that's just how I do it. I don't know why I'm always surprised by that. It's because you would think that it mats into an A2 size card. But she still really wants it to be on a 5x7. So let me measure this real quick. Like this one is just over five and a half inches by three and three quarters ish. So if you were to put this on a two size card, it would go from the top to the bottom, but then there'd be sides on the um, gaps on the sides. So it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not really sized for a two size card, but they're pretty nonetheless, and they will fit in your marquee or your Empress Mini and things like that. Uh, let me see here. This one is Celestial Cut and Embossed Eyes. Okay, so I showed you guys I got the horoscope card toppers. I think she had paper too. I don't, I didn't get it. Okay, then I'm going to destroy this completely. That's okay. <laughs> I, maybe that's not okay. I can't get into the rest of this. Okay. So these are the dies and, uh, you know, they just look really pretty with the papers and stuff like that. So there's the little symbol plus the words. So that was kind of interesting. And uh, like I said, I'm a Leo and I guess Anna's a Leo also. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's some ideas here how to use them. But we'll definitely review these together, this and the card toppers. And what is this? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be this big. This is the pop-up cake papers. Um, not the papers, the kit that's already made. If you guys remember, I recently reviewed the pop-up cake uh, dies and um, just one little thing that was kind of misleading in the instructions, but once we figure it out, it's great. I think it's going to be really cute. It works up really fast. So I think, you know, if you threw that in any card, if it was a congratulatory card, a happy, you know, a birthday card, a, maybe even a Christmas card, if it was like Christmas colors, I think it'd be a really cute thing to add in. But this is the kit. Oh, I, even better, it's in a pretty box. Um, they're already cut. So all you have to do is put it together. And of course the papers are pretty because they're already 
put all together for you. So this makes 20 unique cards, it says. And um, what I do like is it had so much extras, just like the big card making box I recently reviewed, the birthday one or celebrations one and the holiday one. I mean, this just has a ton of stuff in here. And then of course you have your little pieces and they're nice and sturdy, of course. We have sentiments, we have tons of flowers, we have all these words more decorative stuff, the card bases, so of course they're really pretty, so everything kind of goes together really nicely. So I will definitely review this. Obviously, it's going to be kind of put together and go. Um, it shouldn't take too long though, since we discovered how to use the dies, and what I should do is keep the dies in this box together so everything's together, that'd be great. But again, everything's already cut down on this one, and there is paper pack or paper packs to go along with the dies if you want. Otherwise, I think the selections I made work pretty well with the striped paper and what I had used in there. Okay. This big boy, I should even show you, look at this thing. Um, I had, I'm telling you, I was fighting Craft Stash that day because their site kept crashing and um, just so many people were on there. And this actually says... DPD group and Aramex, so they probably had tracking. If I wanted to, you know, if I hadn't gotten it so quick, I probably would could have asked them and then the tracking would have been there. But I know the last time I had talked with Craft Stash, they said they were using the Royal Mail because the other courier they were using was taking like two months. And since they switched back to like, or to Royal Mail and stuff like that, like I said, my orders have been coming in usually within the week. So this is a lot of stuff and I know it's a lot of stuff, but there we have low prices as it is, and they're always having sales, and this last, that Saturday sale, I think they do it twice a year, was an extra 30% off whatever you put in your cart if you were over a certain amount, right? So this is kind of scary because <laughs> it looks like it was in a bag that was already opened, plus another bag, so hopefully everything's here. It seems like it is. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. All right, so let's see what's in this package. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is um, the Elizabeth Planner Essentials Elizabeth Craft Design Sidekick in the color Beach. And obviously, this see the box is a little bit dented, but it's um, a planner. And I, you know, I didn't really know how big it was. I've seen Elizabeth Craft when Els does her videos, how kind of it is compared to her hands. But really cute. So it's the beach color, and I will definitely start working on those when I get to it. <laughs> um, you'll see that in action. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I had mentioned that I had picked up. Some of these things um, they are on Craft Stash, the um, the new Gemini or Crafts Companion um, I don't know, Cascading Awards, I think is what they call them. So I have Snow and Mary, and I only picked up what I wanted. We have the little ornaments, which is super cute. Um, we have the little uh, reindeer set with the snow. Um, there should be, I think, more of those. So hopefully, like I said, that's funny. I'm just looking at this uh, Cascading set. There should be more of these papers. There's one piece of paper I'll just show it to you. Well, it's, it only has like five things listed, so there is a problem there. Okay, so there's another one. I think I got four of these. I'm not sure, so that's the Christmas one. I'm trying to pick out, yeah, here's the other one. I think that's all I got. Jolly. So cute. I do like these a lot because they look really pretty and really nice. Okay, so Tonic... I think this might have been a bundle. I don't remember picking this out and saying, oh, I need this stamp. So, hold on. I know this one was by itself. This is um, a really cool thing. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. It has like a little pull tab and then the little leaves move and open up and you see the little um, uh, sentiment or whatever that you have back there. And you know, Tonic makes great things. So I'm like, I need to get this. So I think it's gonna be really cute. I will definitely review it very soon here. There's that one. I know I got a ton of magazines, so I'm trying to see what else is. Yeah, everything's just kind of, it might have been customs that went through, I don't know, because look at this tiny Lavinia stamp. I know I have a bunch of tiny Lavinia stamps. Oh, perfect. This little Spellbinders Jolly Mitten Mouse. I know this is on Spellbinders site right now, and it's not a horrible price, but I had just, you know, I was placing an order anyway, so I went ahead and grabbed this there. Um, super cute. I, I knew it looked familiar because I was looking at, obviously, the site recently, and I was like, what else am I going to pick up at Spellbinders? And, um... I'm like, why does that little mouse look so familiar? And I looked at my orders, and it's because I got it here. Okay, here's more Lavinia stamps. I know there's a ton of tiny Lavinia stamps. So they have some new ones that uh, have to do with mermaids. Where are my mermaids? Okay, there's one. Oh, I think the other one's sold out, because I was telling you, there was problems, so like the cart was just getting ridiculous. Look how big this mermaid is. 
so pretty and that gorgeous like fine Lavinia stamp and then I got like these little barnacles to go with it I have the um spirit verse it says I have this really pretty uh, like kelp it's seaweed too she has different ones this is just bubbles and they're just so pretty and delicate that's why I'm like oh, I have to get those uh hold on there's I know there's a bunch of tiny ones look at this little guy so when we lived in Monterey we would well even when we lived near Monterey this is the mini urchin we used to go to the um the aquarium all the time and then when we lived in Monterey I just got you know year passes and Doran was still little, not in school yet, so he and I would go at least twice a week, if not almost every day. So it was um, a really fun time for us. Oh, the little double-sided Mr. Snowman dies, so I'll definitely review this. Um, already seeing all these pieces on one die gives me, like, heartburn, but... Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And then we have our other pieces here. He's so cute, though, so I had to grab that little dude. So yeah, so this was like a bundle. Again, that's what I'm saying. That stamp set must have come from somewhere here. So I did not know this was going to be... First of all, this... Okay, this is this one I picked up by itself. Look at how cute this is. I did not know these were this big. My goodness. I will review this if I have a machine. <laughs> the Gemini, I guess, should cut through this because I don't know if it goes all the way over here. It looks like it doesn't. Um, how cute is that? It makes like this little like... Um, satchel I guess oh yeah it's a satchel bag and then you have your little inserts and things this is adorable oh my gosh and then this was the bundle so I think that stamp set that I showed you probably came in here because I don't think I picked up that stamp set on its own but I, I don't really remember so we have this one the celebration album maker die set and that looks really cool I love stuff like this so you can make cards, but you can also make it into a box. Obviously, the die is there for the box. We have the Celebration Album Maker for the Quattro die set. Again, just gorgeous. Lots of fun things in here. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then the pieces. And then this is the Celebration Album Maker Heraldry die set. So this is like inserts, basically. So some things you got to really pay attention because it could be that it's an addition to something. They have a lot of baskets, the Tonic does. And... Um, some of the basket items you buy, you're like, oh, it's only nine bucks or whatever. It's because the main die is <laughs> like one of these guys, and this is like an add-on. So always pay attention to that. You don't want to, well, I guess you could still use it anyway. Like this I could use on a card. You don't have to have the thing. But just, you know, be careful of that if you're thinking it's going to make something that it's not. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, I'm trying to go through this bag because, like I said, everything's just kind of thrown in here. There it is. Thank God. I was going to say, no, I don't think the mermaid sold out because I feel like... Yeah, so this is the other gal. This is um, Zealoth. Let me show you the other one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So this one is um, Althea. And this is Zealoth. And then I have a little crown. And these were only like a buck. Even without the discount, they were like a dollar something. The small stamps like that. And then I got some... Oh, I got this paper pack from Elizabeth Craft Design because it's always sold out on their site. So this is the Reminisce Pattern Cardstock Paper. Um, really cool stuff in here, and I just love the things that they do with their papers and uh, planners, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure everything's here. Okay. And I'm not showing all my addresses. So, I told you I like to get my <laughs> my magazines off Craft Stash. Um, again, if you get the Tonic magazine from them, it is not going to have the extra die, the free die, or the extra die that you would normally get if you get it from Scrapbook or from Tonic. Unfortunately, the Tonic number 12 is still sold out on Tonic and is not available yet on Scrapbook, so we'll have to keep an eye out. But again, it's a quarterly magazine, so... It sold out like in a day or two, so I'm sure they're gonna bring more back. That's, I don't know how tenable it is to <laughs> sell out and then not have anything for three months, right? But this is the um, Love Card Making Kit, I guess. It's international edition, it says, but it has um, an embossing folder, the word birthday, and then I guess, which is kind of interesting, I was just gonna say birthday. Uh, wishes, you know, happy birthday, birthday greetings, it's your birthday, so you have the stamp that goes along with that, and then the layering flowers, it's really cute. And of course they always have fun things in here and lots of ideas on how to use it. Um, oh, this is interesting. So it's just the magazine. I didn't realize that on this one. I don't know what I was thinking this is. 
this is weird. Because, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't know. I always get it when it has something extra. But it's this Christmas special for 2020, so it's what it is. And it says it has um, eight free double-sided papers. So... That is odd. I'm going to have to check on this one. I feel like it was supposed to come with more than just these papers that are in here. But again, maybe I read it wrong. They were super cheap, so I can't complain. But, hmm. Very odd. Okay, I'll have to check on that one. Um, this is... Oh, you know? No. Because it doesn't really say anything else that it has anything else. I was going to say, if it went through customs, maybe they took something. Because I hear sometimes if you order glues, which I've always ordered my glues through Crafters Companion, it was never a problem. Sometimes they'll keep them <laughs> or they'll take them out of the package. But you can get that worked out. All right, so this is um, Paper Craft Essentials. It has um, a really cute, oh, do these called napkin fold? I used to call these napkin fold cards. I don't know. But the one where you fold it up and the corners and this thing so it scrunches in. I had videos on this on my old channel. I don't have any on my new one, but maybe that's something to do. But, you know, it's kind of an old design. People have been doing it for a long time. And then there's a uh, cut and emboss folder die in there too. It's back here. Paper craft essentials. And we have die cutting essentials. And this one comes with these really cute little corner dies. And I really like this one. So I was like all about getting this. And then of course it has I think, some papers and, or something. It has some, a few other things. Nothing to write home about on that other than the dies. And then we have Slimpy Cards and Paper Craft with the Nautical Collection. It says from uh, Carver's Companion, which is interesting because I have the Nautical Collection, but I don't remember these images, especially not this one. So you guys can let me know if this looks like a new kind of uh, set they put together there. And then there's a little seahorse die, which is adorable. I love seahorses, so that's right up my alley. So that, I believe, is everything. I'm going to check my invoices, make sure everything's here. It looks like it is, um, at least that I remember. Only because it was repackaged, but I think everything's okay. Um, I'll let you know if it's not in here. I'll have said that. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Keep an eye out for Busted Out later today. And um, I'll probably do a little paper piecing with my stamping. So it's always good. Even if you don't have Gorgeous Girls, it's a good thing to watch because um, you can do it with any um, stamps that you have. So, all right, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.